In front of us here is the Evoca Lisa's main dashboard. This will give us key metrics about what's happening in the meeting room and the general availability throughout the day, which will allow us to book the meetings as efficiently and as quickly as possible from the panel. The information shown, we have the name of the room, we have the current meeting, if there is one currently happening, this will show you the time at which it starts and finishes, the subject and the organiser's name, and it will also show you what's coming up next, again, the start time, end time, subject and the organiser. For those who know the original room manager product by Avoco, the major departure and change that the LISO brings is the clock interface here. One of the issues the room manager had originally was only showing the now and next meetings really only gave you information about the current availability. If you had a meeting that you wanted to organise later in the day and there were several meetings taking place beforehand, you wouldn't have the uh, visibility to know how much uh, time you've got available later in the day to book that appointment. Not just that, it also didn't give you the option to be able to book a meeting far into advance. The Evoca Liso tackles this by having a timeline situated around a 12 hour clock. The timeline will always run from the current time, so at the moment it's 20 to 5, and as you can see the timeline seems to start at 20 to 5, and this will pan round as the time goes. So this is always showing you the next 12 hours, so the next hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, and so on. Now as you can see here, and the clocks are segmented, there is a proximity sensor at the top of the unit here. This is triggered when I get near the unit, and it makes it easier to see where the blocks and hours are on the clock. When I want to book a meeting, all I need to do is actually click the area of the clock in which I want to book that meeting, and that's what will be shown in the next video.